and without even realizing it, here we are at Balancing Rock. I think Balancing Rock myself is a little um, underwhelming. It's near the boundary of the state park, and so it's a good turnaround point and a good landmark for people. But there are much bigger rocks, including Balancing Rocks, just over this hill in the Knobcombe Basin. This one's kind of vertical, so it's dramatic in that way. In the geological lifetime of things, though, this guy's days are numbered. Sandstone is soft, porous. Cement holding it together is constantly being leached out by rainwater, washing through with acids provided by various kinds of gases, mild carbonic acid just from carbon dioxide. He's going to fall. <laughs> Mild acids are dissolving the cement, holding the sand grains together and pulling them to the surface of the rock. It creates all kinds of fanciful shapes. Sometimes, as in the case of balancing rock here, you get a rock that divides into several different rocks and it looks like it's perched on top of a different rock when in fact it was one solid piece at one point. In other cases, you'll get filigree or, or little veins of rock uh, on the surface. And then in some cases, it actually starts hollowing out a bigger rock until you get caves and arches. And the wind caves are known as tifoni. As the cements on, on the surface of the rock peel away or get knocked off by vibrations or earthquakes, the softer grains uh, with less cement behind them just start falling to the ground, hollowing out, sometimes into big arches. And some of these caves are big. They're party sized You could live inside of them. Let's move on to the Knobcone Forest. Walk straight ahead on the road for less than five minutes until you come to a gate marking the park boundary. Turn right onto an access road that parallels some huge power lines and head downward. The first part looks so miserably steep and rocky that you might be tempted to turn back, especially if it's hot. But if you persevere for five minutes or so, you'll come to a thick Knobcone Forest, which is our next stop. It will be on your left just when the trail starts uphill again. If you look on a map of the distribution of these knob cone pines, it's tiny. Uh, little spots here and there across Northern California. These guys are relics. 